Hello, Scorpio. How are you doing? It's time to go ahead and get your October mid-month out of the way. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. Anybody uh, who would like to catch information on how to schedule a personal reading, that information, along with all kinds of other good information, is in the description of the playback of the video. What's happening? What's good, y'all? Finally made it live. Well, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. What's good, y'all? How's October been treating y'all? More importantly, how has the pre-shadow phase of the Mercury retrograde been treating y'all? How's that been treating y'all? Y'all had any, uh, any glitches in the, you know, technology or communication or anything like that? That been driving y'all nuts? Been popping up a little bit here on my end. Not been too bad, but one of the things that I've kind of, I all started to notice is that the harder you try to prepare for something like that, the worse it is. I've noticed that every single time that I try to prepare for it. I'm like, all right, Mercury retrograde's coming up or whatever, whatever it is that's coming up. I'm like, all right, I'm going to prepare for it, you know. Then it, it makes it even worse and worse. The harder I try to prepare for it, the worse it is, you know. So this time I'm just like, all right, fuck it, whatever. Cool, do, do what you do. Do what you do, universe. Let's do it then. Whatever. Oh, I got a visitor. My cat's trying to climb up my chair. <laughs> anyway, though, Scorpio, what's up with y'all? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. October mid-month. I'm trying to get y'all a jumper. Y'all know me. I prefer to start my readings off with a car that jumps out. Gives me a good point of reference. <laughs> my, my cat's going to make an appearance at some point in the, in the video here. Anyway, I can't get a jumper, though. Let's go ahead and start this reading off with seven shuffles here. One, two, three, four. Three more shuffles for my Scorpio. Damn, dude, Knight of Cups reversed overall here. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. I do have the Empress in the reverse next to the Six of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Wow. All right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Looks like y'all got some, some intricate shit going on here. Let me see. Could be dealing with an Aries as well. But whatever the situation is, I feel like it's something that you've decided to relinquish control. Relinquish control, especially those of you dealing with another fixed sign, okay? There's no point. At some point, somebody has to relinquish control, right? At some point, somebody does. Especially if you, uh, not all of you are, are dealing with a fixed sign, but the first sign that popped up is Taurus here, so. Anyway, though, either way, I don't feel like, I kind of think it's, it's like a lot of you understand the point of moving forward without holding a grudge is what I'm seeing here. I'm feeling like a grudge may have been held in the past, or at least the energy was there to be able to hold a grudge and really be pissed off about whatever this was. And you're, and a lot of you are kind of catching on like, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm not. Okay. I appreciate the experience. Thank you, you know, for the, just the experience, just for being there, just for being a part of my journey. You know, like I, I tell people all the time, um, to, it, it really behooves you anytime something good happens to look back and be thankful for all the bad things that happened leading up to that point. Okay, and once, once that realization clicks, it makes difficult times a little bit easier to navigate through. It doesn't, it doesn't mean it's going to get rid of the difficult times. It doesn't mean that, uh, that everything is just hunky-dory from that point, but it definitely makes it easier from that point to navigate through difficult times because you can catch yourself and be like, oh, okay. I don't know how, I don't know why, but this is part of something better, right? So that's kind of how I see you moving forward here. Uh, this looks good. This looks good. 
emotionally independent. You know, I kind of feel like a lot of you learn from this situation that you don't need somebody. Okay? You don't need somebody. The person you're dealing with here, I'm going to have to pull another spread uh, to clarify this right here, but it looks like looks like they're going off and looking for love elsewhere. Okay? And I see somebody new coming in for you here too. I got to I'm going to have to pull another spread here. There's a lot going on here, okay? Let me pull another spread for clarification and more information. See here. Yeah. See what we got going on. Man, appreciate y'all for showing up. Thank you, thank you. Let's see what that's all about there because the Knight of Cups is in the reverse, okay? But man, there on the other side, the person that you're dealing with had the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. But that Knight of Cups in the reverse is making me wonder how many people we're dealing with here. Not 100% sure. That's why those of you who have been following me for a while, like six months or a year, you've probably noticed that here lately, my reading style has changed a little bit. I feel out what spread I got to pull next, you know? I don't just do a cookie cutter, same exact thing every single time for every sign. And this one here looks like some deep shit. Boom. Seven of swords, though. Ooh. Ooh, let's see what that means, okay? Because I just pulled the most controversial card in the entire tarot. So we're not going to speak on it yet. Let's get seven shuffles. One, two, three, four, three more. Oh, the temperance flipped itself out there. Boom, five of swords in the reverse overall here, okay. Okay, yeah, I definitely see somebody here that's still holding on to this. Okay, that's fine. I don't really think you are. Like I said, I, I feel, at least coming from your end here, some sort of sense of peace. And it's, I don't see the Ten of Wands reversed here. It wouldn't surprise me if that came out at some point in time in this reading here. But that's what it feels like. It feels like very Ten of Wands reverse energy. And that is a, that's a place in here. Okay, and well, Nine of Swords reversed is basically the, the air version of the Ten of Wands reversed, you know, kind of, sort of, um, but either way, it's definitely something being lifted up off of you. You're, you're shedding some type of old bullshit, right? And it literally, quite, quite literally, sometimes can even look and feel lighter. Have you ever, I'm sure a lot of you have, been in that place where quite literally, quite literally and tangibly, everything looks dimmer because you're just so, uh, and you know, in the muck and in the blah. And then once that releases itself or you release yourself from it, things appear brighter. Not just metaphorically speaking, like literally everything appears brighter, you know, almost like an extra light got flicked on in the room, you know. That's what I'm feeling here. But, of course, somebody is holding on to this, but it doesn't matter. It's too late, right? It's too late. Could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with or Sagittarius. But uh, I definitely feel like, kind of feel like that Seven of Swords energy isn't anything dishonest. I don't really feel like that. I feel like this is very strategic planning on your part to basically take control of your own vibration. That's how that feels. That's what it feels like to me. So now we got to move forward with the reading here and see what timelines you're headed towards. As I see something new wanting to pop in for you, a lot of signs I've been getting at here lately. A lot of signs. One last night had that too. 
I think it was uh, Libra, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I think it was Libra that had a, a new love. Energy coming through. A lot of signs been having that come through. And boy, I'm going to tell you what. What a better test of character than to have that come through right when a Mercury retrograde is about to start. And then you got to wait. You know? How willing and able are you to wait for what you know? You know what I'm saying? It's a test, boy. I'm going to tell you what. Let's see what's going on with that, though. Let's see what's happening. Boom. There it is. Hey, check it out. Ha <laughs> ha. Nine of Swords reversed again, though. Again. Twice. Can't make that shit up. Five shuffle. Here's one. Two. Three. Two more. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting to announce. I keep forgetting to announce, y'all. I will be collaborating with the Illust Illuminator. Those of y'all interested in that. We're having a little bit of a difficult time figuring out how to how to um, stream live, split screen. We're working on that right now. As we speak, we are currently uh, getting all that set up, you know. But uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. Definitely check that out. I mean, the Illust... Illust Illuminator going to be collaborating on one of her he, shit, he said, she said spreads. And I'm definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, check it out, though. Moving forward here, um, there's, there's definitely... Here's the thing, though. And I have to explain this a lot of times. Like, like it's something that people haven't quite understood. But I'm feeling like you're catching on. You got it. You're already doing this. Okay, world reversed, the wheel of fortune reversed. Obviously, y'all hear me say all the time, there is unfinished business lingering between you and whoever this is that you're moving on from. And rather than giving it to you as advice, I see you're already doing it. You already understand the concept. Leave it unfinished, right? Leave this business unfinished. Come back to it later. Now is not the time. Some of y'all could actually be picking up and traveling. Okay, some of y'all could be traveling for work. Um, whatever it is, but I definitely see here that it looks like a very intentional putting your focus in a, a positive place is what I'm seeing here. Again, those of y'all been following me for any amount of time know that I'm not no rainbow and pink bunnies tarot card reader. I will tell you exactly how it shows up on the table here. So I'm not, not just trying to, you know, put butter on your biscuit, you know. Uh, it, I really do see some very positive things happening here for you. Very positive. Very positive. That's always good when you see that. The type of reader that I am, like there's a lot of readers out there who try to string you along and keep you coming back. I really don't. If I have a repeat customer, I would only hope that that's for one reason. Okay? That reason being that my readings are so accurate that they want clarification on something different. Okay. But hopefully I give everybody that comes to me for a personal reading enough advice and guidance where you don't need to come back. It's one and done. I don't, I don't need you to keep coming back and spending money. One and done. One and done. So I feel like there's a lot of Scorpios out there who May not, may not really need very much guidance. And that's looking good. That's looking good. But uh, everybody could use some, though. So. so let's see here. I'm really not picking up on what this new thing is. It looks like it's coming through. Somebody wants to come through for you here. But I kind of feel like a lot of you aren't really interested in taking the chance right now and giving somebody the opportunity to pull you down. You know? Let's get three shuffles. There's one. Two and three. This is a freestyle spread. Freestyle. No specific intention in mind other than something my Scorpios need to hear. Ooh, Queen of Cups, though. Queen of Wands reversed, Temperance reversed. Ah. Mmm. All right. 
Somebody, somebody's definitely still hanging on to this. And I really don't feel like it's you. You got the Six of Swords and the Upright next to the Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like, I feel like this is you. Simply because overall here is the Queen of Cups. Okay, does it look like she is playing games with her cup, man? No. Does it look like she's going to give anybody the opportunity to take that cup and possibly trip and spill it because they're careless? No, right? Uh, Ash, thank you so much for that super chat. Posted a video. Good deal. Good deal. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And yes, my face is much better. Anyway, though, again, like I said, devil reverse queen of cups. Mm -mm, no. Just in case there is any devil energy out there, I, I don't really care to even take that chance right now. Mm -mm. No. No. Nope. Here's the Empress energy again. It's all about taking control of your vibration. That's probably what I'm going to title this video. I hope this isn't too boring to y'all because I don't really see a whole lot of action happening. But sometimes with that Empress in the upright there, that's where most of the growth happens. Is when this little action. Just think about that. Think about that. You know, in order for uh, a tree to really grow, it has to root itself into the ground. And it doesn't need to move around a whole lot, you know. That's Almost what I'm feeling like is going on here, though. Okay? Well, after all that, we got to go ahead and get to the advice here. Got to go ahead and get to the advice. I ain't going to lie. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit more action-packed than this, you know? I was hoping it would be a little bit more action-packed, but it's not, really. It's not. Uh, but, again, that's probably a good thing because the more action-packed my readings are, typically that means... Probably the more, oh, unpleasant the experience is. A lot of times, a lot of times. What advice do we have, though, for my Scorpio people? Ooh, that Seven of Swords reverse just showed its face. We will see if it comes back out. Advice for my Scorpios. Mm -hmm. In the toxic ties. There you go. There you go. Ask what's up. Do, 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 do. What advice do we have? Boom. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords in the upright is your advice. All right, so check it out. We don't win every single battle, and we're not supposed to. Okay? There's many battles out there that you are supposed to lose. Okay? Supposed to allow yourself to lose. That's what that Five of Swords reverse was all about earlier. A lot of times, cards will pop up that I won't say anything about. Until several spreads later where I see, oh, okay, that makes sense now. Drop the sword and admit defeat, okay? This isn't a battle you need to keep fighting. I talk an awful lot about learning the difference between working and putting forth effort. And once you cross that line into forcing and fighting something to try to work out when it very obviously does not want to, okay? And I kind of feel like that's what a lot of y'all need to do. Just in case... Some of you out there haven't quite got the message yet. This is not a battle that is ever going to turn out in your favor as long as you keep fighting it. The minute you let go and drop the sword and quit fighting it, that's when you're making progress, okay? Difficult pill to do, especially for a fixed sign, okay? I'm a fixed sign too. I get it. But I promise you. Let's get five shuffles. Here's one, two, three, four. Two more. Oops. Sorry, I kicked my tripod there. Ace of Wands reversed. Ooh, that Mercury Retrograde wants you to stay in one spot. Hey, what did I tell y'all earlier? What did I tell you? I knew this was going to come up at some point. I knew it. Ooh, the Seven of Swords is in the upright this time, okay? So that being your advice, plan. Don't do anything on an arbitrary emotional whim, okay? Now is not the time for that, especially for a Mercury retrograde. Absolutely not. Anxiety. Sleepless nights. Get to the root of it. Get to the root of it. You've probably heard me say this a million times, but anxiety is always... Always, 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 always a result of one thing. No matter how you slice the bread, no matter how the cookie crumbles, it always boils down to one thing. Fear of losing control. 
And that's it. Whether it is something that you actually have a legitimate, can put your finger on, you know, okay, I'm nervous about this, I'm anxious, or if it's just a random anxiety attack that you can't really put a finger on, it's always one thing, fear of losing control. Okay, this is an opportunity for you to reflect on yourself and think, okay, why is it that I think that I need to control everything, okay? Why do I think that I need to do that? That's actually, like I said, if you, if you really, really sit and ponder how much in your life you try to control and you really, really look, the vast majority of the reasons you've survived, some of the things you survived, have nothing to do with your control. Okay? For example, you get in your car right now and you drive 10 miles across town. The fact that you survived that drive has very little to do with your control. You know that, right? You can control that all you want, okay? And that's good. That's good. But just know that at any given moment, anything around you could happen that would kill you, okay? So realize that the vast majority, probably 98 to 99% of your life's path is beyond your control anyway, okay? So don't stress so much about what you can and can't control. There is a much bigger picture. Much bigger picture going on here, okay? But uh, yeah, right now, King and Queen of Pentacles. Definitely make sure that you are planned and organized for the next thing that does want to come through. It wants to come through. Right now, I don't really feel like you're interested. And quite frankly, I don't fucking blame you. I don't blame you. Because right now, you got some Nine and Ten of Swords shit to take care of. This right here is some pretty serious business, okay? Some pretty serious inner work that needs to be done. Okay, right now, you need to set your ass down somewhere and do the inner work. It's an opportunity. There is nothing wrong with that. It's actually beautiful. To be given these kind of opportunities, it's actually a very, very awesome thing. Because I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what, here soon, that uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse is going to start turning itself upright. This is going to start popping up upright for you guys. Here as the weeks roll on, as we get into this Mercury retrograde, that energy feeling like it's pushing you forward is going to start popping up and it's going to be very, very frustrating and you're going to need to sit still for a while. Okay. It's difficult to do, difficult to do. So right now, let's go ahead and get used to, to sitting and chilling for a good mm, three weeks, maybe a month. All right. So anyway, though, I feel like the messages that my Scorpio people needed to hear have definitely come through. I hope that resonated for everybody. And if it didn't, that sucks. Check your moon, rising, and Venus. But I do appreciate everybody that tuned in today with the likes and the comments and the super chats and all that good jazz. I will see you all later, all right? Have a good one.